Today we are in the Hadassah Hospital and our bus has dressed up as clowns and we've been playing with the kids and doing arts and crafts and playing soccer and dancing with them and just making sure everyone has a good time. It's just these, these kids who are, who are ill and just getting to make them feel happy and, and getting their minds off the, 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 the sickness is just, just such a great feeling. The kids, some of them looked sicker than others, but they were all like glad to be playing with us. And I don't speak much Hebrew at all, but you could still like color with them even though we couldn't really communicate. I feel lucky that I've gotten to like see these kids smile and like the reactions on their face when like you give them a high five or they kick the ball perfect. It's like amazing. First day of my life. I swear I was born right in the doorway. Just when we were playing with the kids, there's kids from all different places around Israel, kids from all different backgrounds, religious, you know, and it didn't make a difference. They're all kids, they're all the same people. We, you know, just it was so easy for us to just play with them exactly like, even if they couldn't understand what we were saying whether we tried speaking Hebrew, tried speaking English, they're a human being who needs to be helped and that's what Adasa Hospital does. Remember the time you drove all night. I'm Andre Ofek. I'm a plastic surgeon here in Adasa. And uh, actually, my background has a lot with Young Judea. I was a former madrich in Young Judea in the summer of 1993, actually, long time ago. And nowadays I'm working in Hadassah Medical Center and actually I see uh, young Judea teenagers who come and volunteer in the uh, mother and child care building. And uh, you know, it's really uh, warming my heart to see it. This is the moment, this is the summer you decide that the Jewish people, Israel, is going to be the number one priority in your lives. This century belongs to you. I'm a guest now in your century. You will see the 22nd century, but what will you make of the 21st century in order to pass on something to your children and your grandchildren?